Hello? Hello, Robert? No, this isn't Robert. Hello? This is not Robert. How can I help Hello, you? Hello, Robert. I hope that you can hear me. Okay? No, this is not Robert. How can I help you? Hello? This is not Robert. Hello, Robert. Uh, this is Angel. And um, I don't know if you can help me, but who's been trying to reach out to the owner of 903 App Drive. Okay, you guys have called me several times. This is not Robert. Hello? Okay. Do you see the problem with that one? Yes. I, I wasn't able to hear. Uh... Yeah, the the yeah the one that I'm talking with. Okay. To do better in their business, but I also have to. I don't know how to do it. Hey everyone, listen, what we're going to do here is this, this one was the first VA or the first uh, training session for the VA. So uh, please hold this with a grain of salt. And I, you know, we're, we're, we've done some more sessions and if you like this, we'll continue to post more sessions. So I, uh, with that being said, let's get right into the VA session. I thank you. Have a great day. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. So um, I downloaded a few of the uh, audios that we can go over. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, okay, so sure. One from the, a few from the first day. And then the second day, I only downloaded one um, because I think we'll go over everything else. So uh, overall, I think you were doing pretty good. Okay. I, uh, so I, I like the enthusiasm that you had. Um, I, I, I like everything that you, you were doing. So it was, it was really good. Um, there's some critique that I'm going to tell you and, and I'll basically, I'll let you know as we go through these recordings. Okay. Okay. So, sure. So. The first one is this longest one. It's like four minutes, almost five minutes long. So can you hear that? Can you, can you hear it when I hit play? No, I don't hear anything. No. All right. Hold on. Let me try it again. Hi there. I'd like to, yes, either I would like to speak the. Can you hear that? Yes, I can now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. So I had to do some maneuvering around. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Sure. You know. <laughs> All right. Let me do. All right. This here. Okay. So um, on this one, this is like I said, this is the longest one, and we'll uh, start playing this and kind of go over it. You know, kind of piece by piece. Okay. Okay, sure. The owner of the property 24290 Lover Love Street. You're speaking to the owner. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Uh, by the way, um, I'm reaching out to you to see if you might be interested in selling the property because mm -hmm. we're no, no interest. You couldn't pay me enough. <laughs> All right. Have you had any other properties? I, I, know, that I know that you may call for the company looking for property acquisition, but I own the home. It's rented out. It's a good tenant, so I, 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 you know, it's not a, it's not interesting. There's no purpose. What would I sell it for? You're gonna pay me two hundred thousand? So that's what it would sell for. Oh, if that would, if that's, if that's your asking price. All right, I'll take note of that. I'm gonna ask okay, so just want to stop it there. So that was it, it. Was good to get him to answer, but once he's he's being sarcastic. Okay. And I understand that you want to, uh, when he said the price, you're like, okay, yeah, well, is that your asking price? So on and so forth. He, and when he said he has tenants in there, say, so I also, 
Um, I don't know if you want to take note of this, say, hey, oh, we, we do pri buy properties with tenants in them. Okay. Okay. But it sounds like you don't really want to sell this. I understand. I, you know, and basically I would end, almost end the call there. I would then just say, hey, do you have any other properties that you're looking to sell? If not, no problem. End the call. There, there's no point in going any further. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I see. you, you can tell that he's being sarcastic and he's like, he's like, I absolutely don't want to want anything to do with this. Do you, do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I understand. Okay. So, mm -hmm. um, with that, like, he's kind of laughing. He, he understands the reason why you're calling and so on and so forth, but he's not it basically, essentially, we realize at this point, he's not going to sell his house. So the only thing that you can do, or he's selling that house that we called about. The only thing we can do is say, okay, do you have anything else that you'd be willing to sell? If not, have a great day. Okay. okay. And then that way, okay. that way you don't waste the amount of time getting there and you can just start calling other people. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. The other thing that I wanted to bring up is you do it here and you'll do it on others as well. When you're talking about the home, the property, you're saying the address and then the street and so on and so forth. Um, when people psychologically, when people start hearing numbers, they're like, what? You know, so essentially, unless they ask for the number, just do the street name and city. Okay. Like, um, I just use some random, I, hey, I'm just calling about your property on, on Woodside Avenue in, or on Woodside Avenue in Roy Oak. Oh, I don't have a property over there. Okay, great. Awesome. Uh, do you have any other properties that you'd be interested in selling? Okay. You know, and then do you see how easy that is saying versus I'm calling about your property on 20345 Woodside Avenue. As soon as I yeah, get to the two zero, they've checked out. Okay. Or they want you to repeat it and then you say the same thing. So it's like, it's just psychology that like, you know, you, you kind of want to get them on there as fast as possible. All right. You just, you want them to pay attention. If you're not paying, if they're not paying attention, then you're not, you're not getting them in there. Okay. Okay. All right. I see. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'll go through a little bit more of this. Can I ask see. you specific questions for the property so we'll know how much we can offer you as well? No, I'm just saying to you, they're going for that very high ones there right now. Right, so, the but, but, but what, they're look, aren't you looking to buy houses cheap? Isn't that your goal? All right, like, why uh, do they we can, want, um, ask are you. They, are you buying houses to rent out? What's your purpose? Okay, so he understands what we're trying to do. And hmm. essentially, part throughout some of this, I see you're actually not listening to what he's saying and responding. What you're doing is you're going through the script one by one. Okay, sometimes we, we can deviate from the script to make sure that they understand that we're listening to them and that we hear them. Okay. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. Okay. So when he says, oh, are, aren't you guys trying to buy houses low? Yes. Sir. You know, we do multiple different strategies. You know, we fix and flip. We buy and hold. You know, we uh, we buy properties to, we, we buy them at all different types of levels. We buy them with tenants, without tenants, all of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but we run the numbers for every case scenario. Okay. 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 I see. Yeah, I get it. 
So I don't know if you want to take note of what I just said there so that you can repeat that when somebody else asks what we do, that's perfectly fine. Okay. Cause essentially that like a, you know, that's kind of what I want you to understand is, is like, Hey, we do, what's the end goal for these is yes. For us to get them under contract. Obviously this guy's not a motivated seller, but I'm using his call as something that you can reference. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so, Randy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, by the way, um, I'm in the real estate business, ma'am. I'm a real estate broker. What What's your purpose? Okay. Yeah. By the way, uh, we're looking to buy properties in a neighborhood. That is why uh, we want to see if you would consider selling it. And regarding for that, that's why we would like to ask you specific questions about a property. So we'll know how much we can offer you. And we do cash offer, by the way. Okay. What does that mean? I love when you people say that. I've been in the business all my life. Cash doesn't mean anything, whether someone pays me cash or they get a mortgage, I still get cash. I'm not financing it. This is not a, a depressed house. This is a house that's all been rebuilt inside, outside, all new windows, all new siding, everything, new kitchen, new bathroom. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, not, a, it's not an investor house. It's a tenant that pays a, a good rent. So with, we already know that he's not a motivated seller. Okay. So we already know that, but I wanted to address a question that he asked that I, you know, or, or something that he said is, you know, what does cash mean? Okay. To me, it's a, you know, cash or, or, or a loan. It doesn't matter to the, and he's right. It doesn't matter to the seller. Okay. So mm -hmm. the difference is, is with cash say, Hey, we, when we purchase cash, there's no commissions, no closing costs. And, and, uh, we can usually typically, uh, close within 30 days or a lot less time than your conventional, uh, than your conven your conventional mortgage. Okay. So we offer quick closing, uh, you know, cash and it, and everything's as is. Now, in this scenario, obviously that does not work, but other people are going to ask that that are in dire needs. Okay. So that's one thing that you're, you're going to want to understand is, is that's what cash means for us as an investor. The reason why we need a discount usually is because we close quickly. We, there's no commissions. We pay the, all the closing costs and I, yeah, so we pay all the closing costs and there's no inspection contingencies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, I just want to so, make sure that, yeah, yep. because with, uh, with cash, uh, there is no, no commission, right? Correct. Yeah, no commission, and um, yeah, we can close it as soon as uh, 30 days. Okay. Usually within 30 days, sometimes within two weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everything depends on how fast the title company can move. And what I try to do is, that's what I try to do, is I try to blame it on the title company as how fast we can go. Mm. All right. Okay. So, um. I mean, I don't know what kind of money you could offer me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So everything's new. All right. So in a scale from one to 10, how would you rate the property? What's that? Um, In a scale of one to 10, how would you rate the property? Because you've mentioned that everything is new. So on this here, um, I would not do a scale one to 10. What I would do is just start asking, hey, uh, what updates do you need or what updates do you think the property mm -hmm. needs? Okay. If I were okay. to come in there and I, I like to use this analogy and I say, if I were to come in into the property and make it look HGT, HGT, uh, uh, HGTV style. Okay. Flip the house. What do you think I need to put into it? Do you think I need to do, then I would go over, do you think I need to do the kitchen? Do you think I need to do the roof? Do you think I need to 
what renovations do you think need to be done to the property in order to make Art. it look flip wall quality, things like that? Okay. So yeah, I just want to make sure um, because uh, yeah, re regarding with the condition. So the question that you want me to ask is not ask the, the status of the condition or, you know, what's the, the specific condition, but instead you want me to ask the, uh, what are modeling that needs to be done? Is that what right. you mean? Yeah. Okay. Because the thing is, right. is that a one to 10 doesn't mean crap to me. I need to know what needs to be done. Does the kitchen need to be done? Does the roof need to be done? Does the does the basement need to be re, uh, does the foundation need to be good? So okay. the things that the things that I want you to count on I it, to look at is foundation, uh, kitchen, bathrooms, roof, and mechanicals. Mechanicals mean HVAC, uh, hot water tank and ac okay those are like the main big items because those are the most expensive oh i'm sorry so um hvac roof what was that again hvac roof mm -hmm. i hot water heater hot water tank however you want to say it okay mm -hmm. okay i and foundation okay okay you, you might want to also put in furnace in there as well. Right. Well, that's part of HVAC. A furnace. Okay. So, oh, yep. okay. yeah. So, heating furnace. and cooling, essentially. Yeah. Heating and cooling. So, instead of HVAC, you can say furnace. Okay. So, they'll either have a furnace or a boiler. Okay. So, um, you you don't need to know exactly what these mean. You just need to know what they are. Okay. Okay. All right. And, I and see. the condition so... they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, everything else, like you can say, oh, we have a, they have a lot of order, a lot of stuff, things like that. That's perfectly fine. Say we look at messy houses all the time. We buy everything as is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, let's go to a next, let's go to the next call. Let's see. Hi there. Hello. Hello, William. Hello. Yes, hello. Can you hear me okay? Yes, yes. All right, um, am I speaking with William? <laughs> okay. Hello, uh, by the way, my name is Angel, and I'm trying to reach the owner of 48 seconds. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Hello? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, don't don't disappear on me. All right, come on. Hello. Okay, so that one was I. Uh, that one was a. It looks like he was an older gentleman. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. He he kind of couldn't hear you a little bit. All right. I just kind of make sure on, on something like that, just kind of make sure that they can hear you. Uh, they understand you. Um, and then just then go, you can go into your pitch. Okay. Once you get a response from them. All right. All um, right. I, I see. like to, yeah. Think, um... Yeah. It's just, I know sometimes I've seen on these calls that sometimes you cut out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, because uh, recording with that call, um, Randy, I was um honestly I was really unsure if it was a voicemail or not. That is why I was also like kept listening to him again and, and yep. again, and yeah, I was not really sure if it if it was a voice recording, or yeah, it, it, it kind of yeah. sounded like a voice recording too. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll go on to this next one here. Hello, Robert. 
No, this isn't Robert. Hello? This is not Robert. How can I help Hello, you? Hello, Robert. I hope that you can hear me. Okay? No, this is not Robert. How can I help you? Hello? This is not Robert. Hello, Robert, uh, this is Angel, and um, I don't know if you can help me, but who's been trying to reach out the owner of 903 App Drive. Okay, you guys have called me several times. This is not Robert. Hello? Okay, do you see the problem with that one? Yes, I, I wasn't able to hear. Uh, yeah, the the yeah the one that I'm talking with. Okay, so we gotta just make sure that you're you're able to hear what's coming back because she was very frustrated. Okay, I know. Very I know. frustrated. Yeah. Okay. Um. Obviously, she's not Robert. Say okay. I apologize. Like anything that you say, if it oh I apologize for the wrong number. The only time that I would, if they have the wrong number, say. No problem. We're local investors. I'm sorry uh, for the call. Uh, do you have any properties you might be interested in selling? No. Okay. Have a great day. That's all. If it's okay. the wrong number, that's all you need to say. Okay. All right. Okay. Take note of that. Sure. Hello. Hello? No. How are you? Yeah, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. By the way, my name is Angel, and I don't know if you can help me. Uh, we've been trying to reach out the owner of 26451 Franklin Pointy Drive. Yeah, that's me. Why? What's going on? I'm not trying mm -hmm. to sell my house or nothing like that. I keep getting phone calls. I don't know why. Oh, not, I see. Specifically from you or what agency is calling but some other mm -hmm. some guy called too and asked the same kind of weird question and i was just like not knowing mm -hmm. where i came from all right well, I told you what, 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 what list am i on i mean tell me what's going on mm, i see uh yeah regarding for that donald um yeah my apologies if you keep receiving calls I guess. And um, yeah, I'm just calling because uh, we're looking to buy properties in the neighborhood, and we and you know we wanted to see if you would consider selling it. No. I'm oh, good. Okay. Do you have any other property that you might be interested in selling? No, I don't. So if you could do me a favor, my dear, if you want to just go ahead on and just take me off the list, you know, for any further calls because I'm I'm okay. not interested in any kind of property selling or anything like that. All right. Yes, sir. I'll do that. I'll do that. Thank you. All right. I really appreciate you. Have a good day. You too. As well. Bye. Okay. So that call was actually pretty good. Okay. So the only hold on, give me one second here. All right. Uh, the that call was pretty good. The only thing is, is that I what I would do is. Um, I noticed that when he said, oh, please take me off your list. And for any other people that you say that says that you're putting on, do not call this number. Okay. Oh, do not do that. Properly. I'm sorry. Not interested. Oh. Okay. If you put him as right. not interested, it takes him out of the list. Okay. Okay. All right. So. A do not call this number is it's a wrong number. They're arguing do not call the do not call me, you know, whatever. All right. Because what that does, that leaves that lead in there and it just takes that number out of it. Mm -hmm. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, because I just thought that uh with um it, with this, with this disposition, uh, with this disposition, not interested. There is still might be times that it will, um, you know, we can still use this lead some other time, or maybe it will just generate in in a few days. So that's why I thought of uh, using the do not call this a number. I'm sorry about it. Right. No, it's okay. That that's why we're having these training sessions. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So. So not interested, it takes them out of the list. It just, it doesn't recycle them, okay? So, because we don't wanna call people back like this. The good thing is, is that we found the actual owner of the property. So we have his information, that's fine. That way, if I wanted to go back in this list and say, 
everybody that says not interested and I want to call them back again, at least I have his number. I see. Okay. Okay. So I then uh, another thing is, is remember the biggest thing is, is just look at when you're saying the property address, I'm going to reiterate this. When you're saying the property address, do not say the numbers, no need to say the numbers. Okay. Unless they ask, because you do come across investors who have multiple properties on that street. Oh, well, what number are you asking? Which property? Okay. Oh, oh, two, zero. Two, okay. Two, four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What about it? Until then, just say the street name and the street name and the city. So I would say in, uh, you know, Woodmont Bridge or on, on Woodmont Street in Royal Oak or Woodmont Street in Birmingham. And if you don't know how to pronounce a city, okay, or a street or anything like that, text me. I'll do a voice memo with me saying it to you. Okay, sure. I'll do that. Because I know some of these cities are hard to pronounce. I get that. So like how they look and how it's pronounced could be a little bit different based on foreign people because uh, it's just how it is. I, I completely understand that. Okay. Okay. All right. I see. So uh, how you mean as well that um, just in case if there's any apartment number or any um, um, like a, uh, a number is that are included in the uh, address, you don't want me to mention those? Uh, like you the can, unit number? Yeah, just say, um, if you want to say it's a, a condo or a townhouse, then that's fine. If it's a, if it's a, mm -hmm. uh, basically it's going to be either, if it has a unit number, it's going to be probably either a condo or a townhouse. Okay. Okay. I see. All right. So, um, you really don't have to say because they're only going to have one property in there if they're the right people. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next thing I want to, there's only one other thing that I wanted to bring up and let me. Hello. Hi there. We'd like to speak to Daniel. Hi, who's calling? Yeah, by the way, um, and, um, I'm trying to read the property owner of Q6574 Palmer yep. Bullets. Yep, I'm not, not interested in selling. Thank you. Bye. All right. Okay, I understand. Uh, by the way, Daniel, would you mind me asking, um, do you have any other property that you might be interested in nope. selling? Nope, I'm not interested in selling. Thank you. Bye. All right. Thank okay. That call was actually a really good call. Okay. So I wanted to use that as an example, uh, you know, you, you said his name, you could probably, oh yeah. Okay. Do you, um, you know, I'm just calling about your property on blah, blah, blah street. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, oh yeah, I'm not interested. Okay. No problem. And I like to follow up with that. Uh, the, mm -hmm. The other thing that I want you to, uh, I've been seeing is that where it says the LLC, you're asking, I'm looking for the owner of blah, 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 LLC company name. If it has the LLC in there, just ask for the property owner of the property. Okay. Okay. And uh, I don't need to include LLC. All right. No, no. Mm -hmm. I, okay. what I mean is, is. I'm looking for the property owner of the street name and, and the city of, of okay. a property on this and that, because you don't have a name and it's just awkward saying, well, I'm looking for the owner of RB management LLC. You're like, what? Yeah, but... <laughs> Instead of, I'm looking for the owner of Woodbridge in Royal Oak, Michigan, or Royal Oak. You don't have to say the state. <laughs> All right. So 
the shorter you can make all that, the better it can be because they'll comprehend it a lot better. Okay, I see. Yeah, I'll take note. So yeah, I understand. Yeah, it's better to like mention the property address instead of the, the company name. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So it also gets you to go a lot faster through things. Oh yeah, I'm not interested. Okay, great. Do you have any other properties you're interested in? No? Awesome. Have a great day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So if you notice that video that I sent you for my YouTube video with me cold mm -hmm. calling, that's exactly what I do. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and you you keep it flowing. Happy, go lucky, just keep things going as much as possible. Uh, oh, uh, if they try to cry, oh, I'm sorry to bother you. I hope, hope you have a great day, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and and then just let them go. If they're having a bad day and they're trying to cut, sorry to bother you. Have a great day. Hang up. There's always the next caller. Yes, yes. Okay. Remember, okay. you got to pick up on the sarcasm, and you got to listen to what they're saying as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you got to listen to when they're saying, "Well, I don't, I don't know why. Why would I sell it?" Well. Obviously, you don't want to sell that. So there's no motivation. And I don't want to really deal with people with no motivation. Okay. Because the price is going to be here when retail price is here. And there's no point for that. Okay. Yeah. There's, then there's one other point that I want to get is when people say, oh, take me off your list, blah, 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 this, that, before you even get to say that is no problem. I just need to make sure that I'm I'm talking to the homeowner. Do you own this home on Woodbridge Royal Low? Yes. I, and, and if it is, then I'll make sure to take you off the list. Essentially, what you're trying to do is people will say that, not realizing that you're probably calling the wrong number. You I see. Yeah, so we're cutting with that. Uh, like, uh, if it's a DNC, uh, instead of uh, agreeing to uh, agreeing to uh, put their number on a DNC list, um, I need to follow up if they are the um, property owner. Yeah, just hey, I just want to make sure that you're the actual property owner. Okay. Mm. I great. Okay, awesome. I'll take you off our list. No problem. Not interested. I see. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Okay. <laughs> so that's the main thing that I want, want you to understand is that we need to make sure that we're talking. If we are talking to the property owner, that's great. Not interested. That's awesome. But people have this tendency to say they, they hear you. They think it's a robocall. They say oh, automatically just not interested. Okay. Yeah, so, definitely. So we got to so, um, break that interruption. We got to interrupt that. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I, I know that it's better to like ask first if if they own. Yeah, to make sure. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So like that one girl that oh, I'm not Robert. I'm not Robert. I'm not Robert. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So. I uh, what you say is is okay awesome I you're not Robert you don't own do you own this property here mm -hmm. maybe I have the wrong name no okay awesome sorry I got the wrong number have a great day okay, okay. yeah I'll take note mm -hmm. and and sometimes you got to read the tone whether you ask that that the whether you have do you have any other properties for sale? Sometimes you just got to read that tone. If they're already upset, just hang, just get off the phone as fast as possible. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, sure. So, um, so was this helpful? Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, yeah, I appreciate the, the insights that you're uh, actually providing to me and I'm taking note, especially, um, you know, if we need to do um, some follow-up um, questions, Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, <laughs> I know that it's really helpful. Thank you. Awesome. So what what I want to do is as I read back into the like uh, as I I listen to a lot of these, um, mm -hmm. like if if I feel like something's going wrong or I feel like we need another training session like this, then I'll just mm -hmm. call for another one. Okay. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, I'd know. be open with that. Yeah. Awesome. I of you course. have a good foundation and everything's great. Just some tweaks here and there and. As we go, we may tweak things a little bit more and it may not be you're doing anything wrong. We may just want to tweak the script or how you, mm. how you answer the phone a little bit, you know, um, okay. like, for, like I'll give you an example. Like I did, we tried, um, a while back, I tried, Hey, I'm just following up with you, uh, with you about a flyer that we sent you to see if you'd be interested to sell your house, you know, or something like that. Again, these are different opening lines to kind of change things up to see mm -hmm. what uh, to see what works. Yeah, but of course, uh, we need to, as what you've mentioned, that we need to read the tone of um, you right. know one that we're talking. About. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the biggest thing. You need to read the tone of who you're talking to. Yeah, okay. like especially if they're annoyed or not, <laughs> that would matter. <laughs> Right. Right. They don't want to deal with uh -huh. it. You know, like yeah. I'll give an example that one from Ferndale that you sent yesterday. Yesterday, mm -hmm. I followed up with that today, and it was actually a wrong number. So it was it was a guy playing, basically saying, uh, playing a trick on you. All right. So. I, it's nothing against you or anything like that by any means. It was just, um, you know, he was very calm when he was talking with me, but he's like, yeah, I don't own that property. I'm like, all right, cool. I was like, yeah, great. Cause 600,000 is nowhere near this area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? So, mm -hmm. but you know, just kind of understand that when you read the tone of people, you can, you, you'll be able to understand that a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I, I know that I need to master that. <laughs> All right. Like, yep. especially the reading the tone and not just, you know, proceed with a, with a call flow. Right. And again, mm -hmm. if you have any questions, message me, you know, if you have any you questions about, uh, how to pronounce anything, I'll send you mm -hmm. a voice, a, a, a voice message saying, it, so you can understand how to pronounce it. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. Okay, yeah. Because you're going to, with all the cities, you're going to get the same cities. Okay, so I understand you're going to have trouble pronouncing those at first, mm. but you're going to see them recurrently. Okay, because we're calling in the same, the same counties. Okay. Okay. All right. Awesome. Uh, Patrick, do you have any, anything you want to add? Um, no, I was just, I was going to add at the end, just, yeah, he, uh, he's brought some real good points to, uh, look into. I think this training session actually was a, a great idea. I might awesome. even say it might be better to do another one at, you know, in our week or something or yep. whatever we feel might be right. Yeah, I think we can definitely do that. Um, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to be listening to, I listen to the calls mostly every day. Uh, and just basically, I can't remember, I can't see if it's any incoming call. I can't, it doesn't record it. Um, only if it's outgoing. So the reason why mm. I couldn't, I, there's no recording for that one in Ferndale because they called back. Yeah. So I couldn't listen. Mm. I couldn't listen into that call. Okay. Okay. Um, All right. I see. Thanks everybody. I, hopefully you like that. Uh, training session. Uh, if you've lasted this long to the end of the training session, I uh, leave a comment. What was your favorite part? And if you want to see more of this, uh, I do still have a few more. We're trying to do them possibly once every week, once every other week, as I need them. As, when I listen to the calls, uh, maybe we need to tweak things a little bit here and there.
I, so that's all about what cold calling is, is you're only as good as you train people. So anybody who says set it and forget it, they don't know what they're talking about. Okay. So with that being said, leave a comment uh, down below. Let me know if you like this, uh, this type of, these types of videos and let me know what your favorite part of this video is. Um, I know I struggled a little bit. Remember, this is the first session that I had with the, with this VA. Um, so still getting my kinks out of it and everything. So I, uh, with that being said, let's all do deals together and let's just keep the deal flow going. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room And damn, what a hell of a view I 